All right, guys and girls, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're back at the SRT4 again today. Um, I just shut the garage. I have been working on the car. Uh, it's going to be a little bit dark under there, but I made a lot more progress today. Um, I got the starter removed. I got the cross membrane um, underneath the trans removed. And then there's also another bracing that goes on the front. So the flex plate is exposed. Um, and then the only thing that's holding the transmission in now, we have three bolts holding the transmission into place right now. Um, we have the two that go into the motor and then the one that is going into this trans mount over here on the driver's side. Um, I was going to go ahead and take the transmission out today, but I have one jack and I have no planks of wood. So if I start loosening these mounts, I don't want the trans to drop or the motor side to drop and not be able to stabilize it. So I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. I'm going to come back tomorrow. Of course, we're going to pick back up on this video tomorrow. Um, and then that way uh, we can just go ahead and get this thing out. But like I said, we literally have three bolts left. Um, I'm beyond pleased, ready to get this thing back on the road. But yeah. All right. So I do apologize about not recording, guys. I just kind of want to come over here and get it banged out. I just finished orders maybe about two hours ago. I've probably been working on the car for about two hours itself. But um, like I said, we got three bolts left to get it out. I do want to show you guys this as well. Um, so I did order this flex plate from Modern Performance. Um, last time I ordered a flex plate, I don't know if you guys remember in the video, but um, we got the wrong one. But this one should be the correct one. Someone told me on one of the forums on Facebook to order it through Modern Performance. Um, as long as I get the modular, the, mo the, the flex plate for a modular clutch, then I'm straight. For those of you who don't know what modular means, it basically means that the clutch comes already put together completely. It's not separated, doesn't have to be put together upon putting it in the vehicle, but uh, we got that. Now, one thing that did kind of stump me a little bit, um, I ordered from Modern Performance as well. I'll show you guys real quick. Um, so I went on Modern Performance, once again, the place I just got the flex plate from, um, and I put it in order for more hardware because Another reason that bolt, or not the bolt, but another reason that flex plate keeps coming loose is because the bolts are stripped. The heads are worn, they're warped, so on and so forth. So I ordered what I thought was going to be an entire kit. Um, altogether, it might be a total of about four bolts that hold the clutch to the flex plate. And then it might be about eight around the middle or maybe six. It's probably about eight or six in the middle that hold it onto the car itself. But um, for some reason, I ordered the kit and they literally only sent me two, like, I have no $25. I have no idea why they would only send me two. Um, but once we get this thing off the car, we'll see. Two might be all that I need because if I remember correctly, um, only about one or two of the heads on the ones that are on there now are screwed up. So we might be able to get away with just these two. If anybody knows, let me know why. But I thought I was going to get an entire kit uh, of bolts. But unfortunately, they sent me the two. But um like I said, guys, we'll pick back up on this tomorrow. We will catch you guys tomorrow. Bright and early. Right, y'all. It ain't bright. And quite frankly, it ain't that early either. <laughs> but we are on our way to go get started on the SRT4. I'm about to go see my boy Edgar. I um, have to pick up the jack stands from him. I got to go get my girl. She's going to be my camera lady today. Appreciate you shouting. But um, we're getting into it. It's an ugly day, a very ugly day, but at least we have a garage to work in. Um, we are gonna get the transmission out today. Pretty sure we're gonna get that flex plate off as well. Um, but let's get into it. We'll pick back up once we're at the garage um, to get started on the car. So, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. You're getting nervous. Hey guys, so as promised, we are back at the SRT4. I don't know, oh shit. <laughs> I'm on one today. Um, if you guys can't tell, uh, I went ahead. I'm taking the wheels off now. Like I said, we got a buyer. My camera lady, I don't know. She's slacking today. She decided to just hop in the car and just sit in here. But for the meantime, she over here trying to find her uh, SRT4. Should I get this? You got money for that? Hell no, you do. Well, them baked goods is doing good, ain't they? Um, but like I said earlier in the video, uh, we got four bolts. You can see the two here, one here, one here, mounting it to the motor. And then we have this long bolt that's going to go through um, this trans mount. Um, I was going to disconnect, or I might actually do that. If I can get an actual uh, ratchet down in there, 
I might just take the bottom portion off of the transmission itself and leave that whole mount in so I don't have to worry about lining it up. Um, so we'll get that figured out. But uh, yeah, once we get these three, four bolts out, we're going to be out, trans will be out, and we'll be making excellent progress. Right now, this is the uh, trans mount bolt. Because I'm thinking um, when it comes time to put the transmission back in, it will be a lot simpler and it will also help me know what my alignment is um, if I take this whole mount out. And then I know I have to get it directly back into this hole here because this thing was kind of a headache getting it back in. I had to get about three or four hands, but um, I think it'll be a lot simpler if I just go ahead and take this whole mount out and go from there. But um, got those loosened up, I'm getting this one out. That should be it. Um, and then the trains will be out. All right, guys. So we're going to be calling it a video here. Um, the transmission is out of the car. I know you guys can't see it. I'll take a picture and I'll put it in the video. But the transmission is out. Uh, clutch is exposed. But out. tomorrow we're going to come. We're going to disconnect the flut, uh, the clutch from the flex plate um, and that'll be it for that. We're just gonna go ahead and keep this all one video. So we'll pick up early tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it up to this point. We'll pick back up on this tomorrow. Okay guys, this is day three, welcome back. So um, as I said in the previous part, uh, transmission is out. I've already separated the clutch from the flex plate I've already taken the new flex plate and lined it up with the um, clutch. I mean, not the clutch, but the flex plate that's on the car now. And it is the right size. So I'm pleased about that, that I was worried about that, but it's the exact same size, exactly what we need. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking the flex plate off of the uh, motor. I have to use this four way um, to hold it in place while I break these bolts loose because this uh, flex plate, it just wants to spin whenever you put any kind of um, uh, what do you want to call it? Any kind of pressure on the bolts to break them loose. The whole flex plate just wants to spin. So I got all of them loose except one. I have one more to go. And then flex plate will be off. Get the new one thrown on. And I'm going to try to get this trans in today. I'm not going to try. I'm going to. I'm going to get this trans back in today. So um, I'll pick back up with you guys after we get this flex plate off the car. All right, guys. So old flex plate, new flex plate, correct sizes. Um, this is what our problem was just to give you guys a visual. So as you can see, um, this is where it was coming loose and just playing around inside the transmission. All of these were warped. Um, this is the one that came on the car when I purchased it. So uh, this occurred with the previous owner and I, I don't know if he knew of the issue, used the same plate and just torqued it down like I did previously or if he had replaced it at some point. But um, like I said, I'm extremely pleased we got the correct flex plate to replace it. Um, however, as well, clutches over there. These are the bolts that hold the flex plate to the clutch itself. Um, now, when I took this off of the car, all of all four of these bolts were loose and I could literally just take them out by hand. That happened last time and that happened again. So that's where all that rattling noise was coming from. I showed you guys a couple videos back, but we're going to go ahead and get this thing thrown in the car. Um, like I said, Modern Performance literally sent me one uh, replacement bolt. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use it uh, to replace this one because this is the one in the worst shape. As you can see, she's all messed up. But um, the other three, they should be good to go. Um, but yeah, making some great progress today, guys. Let's get this thing put back together. All right, guys, I just got back outside. I took a nice little break to eat. But as you can see, we got the new flex plate in. Um, I kind of had to fool with the shim. I didn't show it to you guys because I kind of forgot it was on the car, but you can kind of see on the old flex plate here um, where the shim was sitting on the plate. So I kind of had to fight with it just a little bit because I forgot the orientation. Uh, one side just fits a little bit flusher, or you actually have to flip it in order for the holes to line up. Um, I wish I could have shown it to you before I put it on, but um, the flex plate is on nonetheless. I'm going to get these bolts torqued down, um, and then get the clutch put back on. And I mean, honestly, guys, after that, I'm gonna be able to put this transmission back on. I do have to go get this 
wool cut off my head, whatever that was. I do have to go get this wool cut off my head um, in about an hour or two. So I got to come back over here anyway, but uh, we're making some excellent progress, guys. We are making some excellent progress. Okay, guys, so we got the clutch put back in. It's lined up. I got the bolts put in the back. Um, I'm just going to call it quits for here right now. Like I said, I got to go get a haircut. Um, but once we come back, I got to go grab an 18 mil wrench uh, from O'Reilly's or something. And then when we come back and get the back of this thing tightened up. All right, I am back from my haircut and I've already gotten started. I went and grabbed that 18 mil, like I said. Um, I just got the clutch tightened up to the flex plate. As you can see, I had to use the jack pole um, to hold the entire assembly in place because once these things are tight, um, the whole assembly just wants to spin. So uh, the jack just holds it into place for me just to make sure everything's tight. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting this transmission line back up to get it thrown back on the car and we will be done all right guys welcome back so i'm back at the srt4 i've probably taken off about two days uh, from working on it um at where i left you guys off last we got the clutch and the flex plate back on so i've decided i'm just going to go ahead and leave this transmission off the car for the time being uh reason being uh as you can see right back there where the exhaust is coming off of the headers um i'm just going to leave it out uh, i want to put an exhaust on this car it's uh, easily accessible right now, and it'd just be smarter if I decided to wait and just hold off, get the exhaust first, and then throw the transmission back in. Are the RPF1s that I was telling you guys about, I need to get the rest from Carlos. We're gonna be painting these things uh, gunmetal gray to match the other two that I had previously. So yeah, guys, uh, that is basically gonna do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys sticking through it. Um, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you. Um, and I will catch you guys and girls in the next one.